future CEOs at Max Q. My name's Andy Gadea. My name's Jason Wilder. I'm Matt Boppa. And I'm Cody Card. We're here at the lovely Maryville University in St. Louis, Missouri, uh, introducing our podcast that we made for you guys. It's about going paperless, uh, the goods and the bads, and uh, we hope you like it. still need the Maryville account. Maryville account. Where's it at? Uh, guys, I still need, I still need the numbers so we can make a profit and loss statement. You can't just give up the Maryville account. That's just as important. Oh yeah, we gotta find that too. I'm looking. the electronic deliverables. You're going to want to go to www.quickbooksblog.info. After the page loads, click on the electronic deliverables tab. Then click on electronic deliverables for 2010. Go down and find chapter 1. Click on it and it will begin downloading. After it is downloaded, I'm going to move the file to the desktop. Now, since I'm doing this on a Mac, I'm using VM Fusion software to run QuickBooks on Windows in a totally separate area. Go ahead and open the file. Here you will see the instructions page and the checklist. Since we'll be exporting a, a profit and loss statement, we need to rename a new page to EX 1.1 T2 for Task 2 PL for Profit and Loss. After doing that, you're going to want to save the file. Go up to File, Save, Save As, and I'll be saving mine as Paperless Podcast 2010 QuickBooks Deliverables. I'm also going to save it to the desktop so I can get to it easy. And now, finally, we get to start using QuickBooks. Well, looks like we need to change the name of the company to Paperless Products. Alright. Company it is. First, you go up to the Company tab. Then you go down to the Company Information and type in Paperless Podcast. Once you do that, you click OK and close the screen. That was pretty simple. Not done yet. We need what? a profit and loss report. Oh man, let me get to that. Whoa, whoa, hey, we can do it on QuickBooks. Now, we need to go to the report center. 
Click on Company and Financial. Then find Profit and Loss Standard. Select View Report. There you see the Profit and Loss Report for Chapter 1. Now, instead of printing it, we're going to do something better. We're going to export it straight into Excel. So click Export, browse the list of files, and find the Excel spreadsheet we saved earlier. Since we already have a sheet ready, we're going to choose to import to an existing spreadsheet. So click on the drop down and select EX 1.1 T2 PL. Just click export. It moves straight into Excel, and there it is the profit and loss statement, just like it showed in QuickBooks. Wow, wow. That is so much faster. So much faster, so much less paper. All right, check it off, and then we're done. Return to the checklist, check off what you just completed, don't forget to save, and close. It's due, what, another hour? We need to print out. No, we don't. We can no. send it through email. There we go. QuickBooks, lifesaver. Definitely. Tree saver. Now that you're finished, you can email the file to your teacher. And look how easy that was. And no paper was used at all. QuickBooks. It's that easy.